10 things to do in Las Vegas off the strip. And that's what I'm talking about today. And I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm going to talk about 10 things that you can do here in Las Vegas that does not involve the strip. When people think of Las Vegas, they think of the glitzy casinos, the strip, downtown. They think of the party life, the nightlife. But Vegas isn't just all about that. There's so many things that you and your family can enjoy that does not involve the strip. So my goal is to go over 10 of them. And most of them are outdoor type activities. People think that, you know, Las Vegas is just the Strip. And when they come and visit, they all they know about Las Vegas is the Strip. So if you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas, I hope this helps you. Um, there are 10 things, and there's more things that you could do off the Strip, but I just picked my top 10 things that I feel everyone should experience when they live here. Or if not, when you visit here. And the number one is Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area. Red Rock Canyon is located just a few miles west of the Las Vegas Strip and you get there off of 215 and Charleston and you head west on Charleston. And it's about 200,000 acres in the Mojave Desert. So this, it's a pretty big conservation area. And it is known for its geological features such as towering red sandstone peaks and the Keystone Thrust Fault as well as the Native American petroglyphs. The one-way 13-mile scenic drive through Red Rock Canyon allows visitors to explore the highs and lows of the canyon from their vehicle or bicycle, with many scenic stops and trailheads along the way. Entrance fees support visitor facilities and upkeep of this world-renowned scenic drive. Number two, Lake Mead Recreational Area. Lake Mead National Recreation Area is a U.S. National Recreation Area located in the southeastern Nevada and southwestern Arizona. Swim, boat, hike, cycle, camp, and fish at America's first and largest national recreation area. With striking landscapes and brilliant blue waters, this year-round playground spreads across 1.5 million acres of mountains, canyons, valleys, and two vast lakes. And number three is Hoover Dam. I mean, when you go to Lake Mead, you can go visit Hoover Dam. And Hoover Dam is a concrete arc gravity dam in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River on the border between Nevada and Arizona. It was constructed between 1931 and 1936 during the Great Depression. Hoover Dam impounds Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States by volume, when it is full. The dam is located seven miles northeast of Boulder City, Nevada. The dam's generators provide power for public and private utilities in Nevada, Arizona, and California. Hoover Dam is a major tourist attraction. Nearly a million people tour Hoover Dam every year. And number four is Lake Las Vegas. So after you've visited Lake Mead and Hoover Dam, on the way back, you can take a tour of Lake Las Vegas. Lake Las Vegas is actually in Henderson, Nevada, even though it says it is Lake Las Vegas, it actually is in Henderson. And the, it's a premier residential golf and resort destination situated on a privately owned 320 acre lake that features 10 miles of shoreline just 17 miles west of the Las Vegas Strip. Within the 3,592 acre master plan community are a range of residential offerings, two challenging golf courses, and three world-class hotels. In addition, the Old World Mediterranean-inspired destination includes pampering spas, a full-service marina with watercraft and water sport rentals, and yacht cruises, hiking and biking trails, and Monte Largo Village, a pedestrian-only enclave with lakeside restaurants, cafes, New Seasons Grocery, and a collection of businesses with residential offerings. And number five is Valley of Fire State Park. And Valley of Fire State Park is a public recreation and nature preservation area covering nearly 46,000 acres located 50 miles northeast of Las Vegas. The state park derives its name from the red sandstone formations which formed from shifting sand dunes 150 million years ago. The park has a visitor center plus facilities for picnicking, camping, and hiking. Petroglyphs are seen throughout the park. 
is Nevada's oldest state park and was designated as a national natural landmark in 1968. And number six is Clark County Wetlands Park. The Clark County Wetlands Park is the largest park in Clark County, Nevada. The park is on the east side of the Las Vegas Valley and runs from the various water treatment plants near the natural beginning of the Las Vegas Wash to where the wash flows under Lake Las Vegas and later into Lake Mead. The Wetlands Park preserves, enhances natural and cultural resources and provides educational, recreational, and research opportunities to the public. And number seven is Mount Charleston. Mount Charleston is actually an unincorporated town in Clark County, Nevada. The town of Mount Charleston is named for nearby Mount Charleston, whose Charleston Peak is 11,916 feet and the highest point in Clark County. Mount Charleston is a year-round getaway for Las Vegas residents and visitors with a number of hiking trails and a modest ski area. The mountain, which is a snow cap more than half the year, can be seen from parts of the Las Vegas Strip when looking toward the west. Mount Charleston has nearly 200 campsites and over 150 picnic areas, some of which are RV accessible. And the village of Mount Charleston lies on its base to the east of the actual mountains. And number eight is Floyd Lamb Park. Floyd Lamb Park at Tule Springs is a 2040 acre park in Las Vegas, Nevada. The park is centered on Tule Springs, a series of small lakes that formed an oasis in this part of the Mojave Desert. The historic Tule Springs Ranch is tucked inside the park and provides opportunities for visitors to learn about the traditional working ranch and early Las Vegas lifestyle. There are four lakes in the park that are stocked for fishing, so if you want to go fishing, Tule Springs is the place to go. And number 10 is Las Vegas Springs Preserve. And the Springs Preserves consist of 180 acres dedicated to nature walks and displays and is owned and operated by the Las Vegas Valley Water District. The preserve is located approximately three miles west of downtown Las Vegas. The preserve is built around the original water source for Las Vegas and the Las Vegas Springs. Springs Preserve includes colorful desert botanical gardens, museum galleries, outdoor concert and event venues, an indoor theater, historic photo gallery, and a series of walking trails that meander through the wetland habitat. And number 10 is Seven Magic Mountains. Seven Magic Mountains is a large scale site specific public art installation located near Jean Dry Lake and Interstate 15, approximately 10 miles south of Las Vegas. Comprised of seven towers of colorful stacked boulders standing more than 30 feet high, Seven Magic Mountains is situated in the Ivanpah Valley. A creative expression of human presence in the desert, Seven Magic Mountains punctuates the Mojave with a poetic burst of form and color. As you can see, there is actually life outside of the Las Vegas Strip. And I hope that this video was educational to let you know that Vegas is not just about Vegas. There are so many outdoor activities that you, your family can enjoy. If you're the outdoorsy type, then this city is for you. And if you can withstand the heat, then it's definitely for you. And I think we're pretty lucky to have so many of these amenities right outside our doorstep. And that's one of the reasons why I love living here in Las Vegas is not just about going to the Strip. I rarely go to the Strip. Um, the only time I go to the Strip was actually when I took a tour for the coronavirus when it was vacant. That was the first time in 10 years. Who wants to go take two hours to go up and down the Strip and deal with all those tourists? No, thank you. I'd rather enjoy Red Rock Canyon, Mount Charleston. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's all I have to say. Leave a comment down below if I missed something that's outdoorsy that you can enjoy here in Las Vegas. Um, I think I covered almost everything, but you never know, I may have missed something. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Las Vegas Valley. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you guys on the next one.